So to apply the cleansing oil, I use this little triangle foam thingy, foam, foam sponge. Is that what, what is this? Today's video is very different from past videos very different. Um, I'm actually doing a skincare routine video and that is because a lot of my friends have suggested this and also because this is the healthiest that my skin has ever been and I thought I would share my tips with you guys. So with that said, let's just hop right into the video. So something that I've noticed when living with cystic fibrosis my skin is very very sensitive and if you remember about a year and a half ago i created this video about how our skin's how our skin is so salty and because our skin is salty it can become very sensitive and almost like this not actual acne but it's very similar to acne can appear on our skin making it very sensitive, very dry, and very unpleasant. So it took me a while to find a skincare routine that my skin just became healthy with, I guess. And so far for the past six months, um, my skin has reacted very well to these products and I think I'm gonna stick with it until I need to change it again. So to take off my makeup, the first product that I use is Burt's Bees Cleansing Oil. And it has coconut and argan oils. And this is for normal to dry skin. Um, the coconut and the argan oils really help moisturize your skin without damaging or stripping any of the, mo stripping any of the moisture out of your skin. And to apply the cleansing oil, I get like these little foam triangle squishy things, I, um, I don't know what they are. Cosmetic Wedge for application, blending, and removal. Latex-free foam. So I use a Cosmetic Wedge, latex-free foam wedge. So about six months ago, I was introduced to Lush. I mean, I knew what Lush was before six months ago, but I never walked in there because I didn't really understand the company. But my friend Gabby took me in there, thanks Gabby, and I started to use a few of their products and take samples and see how my skin reacted. So for the cleanser, and this is the only cleanser slash exfoliator that works wonders for my skin, and it's the Let the Good Times Roll, and it has maize flour, cornmeal, and cinnamon powder that helps exfoliate and it also really moisturizes your skin so it doesn't like exfoliate to the point where your skin is really rough it just exfoliates a little bit of dead skin but still leaves it moisturized so something that you're probably noticing with all the products that I use is that they're all organic and the reason why I chose all organic products is because since my skin is so sensitive Using organic products, I know it won't damage my skin and it's healthy for my skin. Whereas if I use man-made products and fake stuff, it doesn't cause a good reaction with my skin. Um, another reason why my skin is so sensitive is because of all the medications that I take and it just, it just causes my skin to not react well. So that's why I use organic products. So for my moisturizer, I actually use Lush's Celestial, and it has almond milk and Dove Orchid, and it helps with sensitive skin to retain the moisture and not get really dry. Um, this has been working wonders. They did say that this is more like a winter product for my skin, and that during the summer, I might have to change it to a different moisturizer, which I'm not really sure. Um, so we'll have to, we'll see what happens when summer comes around. When I was there, they suggested I use in, in per, Imperialis, probably saying that wrong, um, which is a lighter moisturizer. Like this one is a little bit of a heavier coat. And then Imperialis is a lighter coat, so 
when your skin gets all oily from uh, and sweaty from <laughs> summertime, this one they said would work better. And it has lavender, orange flowers, and tiger lilies, and it does the same thing that this does. So I don't know. We'll see how my skin reacts during the summer because I started using these products in the fall. I just use those three products and they're not too expensive because the containers that I use last a really long time and they're beneficial for my skin. So I highly recommend trying these out if you want to. I'll leave all the links in the description box below to where you can get these products. Um, but honestly, try what's best for your skin and if you need to change things up or tell me what stuff that you use and comment that below because I'd love to know what you use. Is that weird that I'd like to know what you guys like to use for your skincare routine? That's probably weird. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, it is very different from past videos, but I had fun doing it. Very different. But I thought I'd share my skincare routine video with you guys. But don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And turn on that notification bell if you haven't already. And leave a comment below. And don't forget to check out last week's video. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.